Hi friends, let's have a discussion on a short case scenario where there is a patient who is 90 years old male who is critically ill from any disease and he is admitted into ICU and he is on total parental nutrition means he is not taking food by mouth but the food is being given by special formulations by the IV lines. So he is on total parental nutrition. Now he started complaining of pain in the right upper quadrant abdomen along with fever. And when you investigate, you find the patient is also having leukocytosis. And on radiological investigation, you find on ultrasound that there is fluid around the gallbladder, but there is no gallstone. So what is this condition? Now, as per the clinical feature, the patient is having fever, the patient is having pain, the patient is having leukocytosis. And at the same time, on ultrasound, you are finding fluid around the gallbladder. So all these features suggest what the diagnosis of cholecystitis. So now the next question is, can cholecystitis occur without a stone? Yes, the answer is yes. The cholecystitis can occur without a stone and this condition is known as acute acalculus cholecystitis. This condition is actually found in usually in those patients who are admitted into hospitals for any other reasons and usually the patients are really sick. And this con condition is having high mortality because the chances of gallbladder gang become gangrenous and gallbladder perforations are high. So that is why you need to do some interventions urgently. So what is the ideal treatment? The ideal treatment for such a condition is cholecystectomy. But as most of the patients are really very sick and not fit for a general anesthesia, so what we need to do is a temporary measure is being done most of the time. And the temporary me measure is known as cholecystostomy tube. Now the word stomy, the moment you the, use the word stomy, it means an opening. So what you do is under ultrasound guided or under CT guided, uh, CT scan guidance, what you need to do is you make you need to introduce a tube from outside the abdomen into the gallbladder. So this tube will go into the gallbladder and this tube will be collected uh, connected to a collecting bag. So uh, the reason for this cholecystostomy tube is that there is a toxic fluid inside the gallbladder and we want this toxic fluid to be out and the patient is put on IV antibiotics and most of the times patients are going to improve by these conservative measures. And this tube will be there till the bile is, uh, till the toxic material is removed from the gallbladder. And once the patient is okay, after around 8 weeks, you should consider doing the interval, interval cholecystectomy. So that when the patient is fit for anesthesia, when the, then you should ideally do the cholecystectomy. So this is all about acute cholecystitis, ac acute acalculus cholecystitis in short. Thank you.